Okay, good morning, welcome to Draft Busters. We're going to explain what comes in our starter pack and the most important tool that you're going to get is a pair of scissors. You probably need two pairs, one for opening things and one for cutting draft strips into corners of doors and windows. Very important tool, the scissors. And the next most important thing you're going to get is these scouring pads. We use them to clean the window reveals or door reveals before we try and stick draft strips on. Give them two of them. And so then we have packet of screwdrivers we again we already need the scissors to open up the packet of screwdrivers but we've got a variety of screwdrivers in there pz1 pz2 crosshead ones and straight ones small medium and large have a small hacksaw which is very useful for cutting plastic and metal strips it has a blade with the teeth pointing forwards it's very nice for cutting strips that go around doors that are retrofitted to the outside of the frame give you a small chisel sometimes there's lumps and bumps to cut off sometimes you need to move something that needs a little bit of wood cutting out but it's really above and beyond the call of draft busters and a hammer is very useful for banging in the nails that go in the draft strips and sometimes for getting rid of other things give you two scrapers for smoothing off silicone or painters mate when you've done some of that caulking we give you a caulking gun this is an old one but we give you a brand new one this is well time served it works by you press down on this little lever and then you can pull it up and the silicone tube then fits in and you press the lever forwards down to where it's going to go and then once that's fully forward you're ready to operate when you're operating you silicone or painters mate whatever you want to by applying a gentle pressure when you finish, you must always push the button to release that pressure, otherwise the goop will continue squirting out. And then changing them, you have to press that button down, take it out, put the new one in. That's a bigger cartridge, this one. It's a bit more difficult to fit in the gun, but it does fit there. It will fit in your gun better. Mine's a bit old. I usually change this nozzle when I change the thing. I change it onto the new cartridge because it's got quite a lot of stuff in there and you can cut back to different sizes depending how far you want to go on the nozzle you can have small medium large or very large and we also give you a little infrared thermometer which picks up temperatures if you're finding very cold places that's an indication of either missing insulation or a draft and very useful on loft traps to tell whether it's insulated or not without opening it even I think that's probably everything on our tools there. There's probably going to be a Stanley knife in your pack as well.